fake revolutions everywhere you look. Elon Musk has just made a post on his social media platform that is so astonishingly ridiculous and awful that it needs its own report. Musk tweeted a graphic containing lines that Palestine supporters have been using when opposing Israel's genocide in Gaza, but used it to frame himself as standing on the side of the resistance against a tyrannical oppressor. It reads as follows, quote, You watched The Hunger Games and sided with the resistance. You watched Star Wars and sided with the resistance. You watched The Matrix and sided with the resistance. You watched Divergent and sided with the resistance. You watched V for Vendetta and sided with the resistance. When it's fiction, you understand, yet you refuse to see it when it's the reality you're living in. Wild. End quote. It's hard to be sure what's going on in Musk's sluggish mind, but at the moment he appears to be referring to the white supremacist rioting that's been occurring in the United Kingdom, which he has come under fire for enthusiastically supporting. It really doesn't matter, though, since there's no way a billionaire Pentagon contractor who's been forcefully backing Israel in its genocidal atrocities in Gaza could possibly be considered a part of any resistance. There are fake revolutions everywhere you look. This happens all the time these days. People who are inextricably intertwined with establishment power structures posturing as brave revolutionaries, leading a resistance against the very establishment they themselves are part of. Elon Musk is no more a part of any resistance than Joe Biden or Bill Gates, but his sycophantic fanboys will mindlessly gobble this garbage up like popcorn chicken. They serve up fake revolutions to stop you from waging a real one. Here, fall in line with this billionaire military-industrial complex plutocrat. He's leading the resistance. Here, fall in line with this oligarch-backed presidential candidate. He's waging a populist war against the deep state to make America great again. Don't like right-wingers? No problem. Join progressive Democrats like Bernie Sanders and AOC who will support the same establishment interests as Elon Musk and Donald Trump, but they'll do so while paying lip service to social justice and equality to make you feel nice inside. More of an independent? Support RFK Jr., who has pledged unconditional support to the state of Israel but is totally going to end the wars and fight corruption. The more discontented the populace grows with status quo politics, the more you'll see the empire which benefits from status quo politics serving up fake revolutions for people to throw their political energy into so that nothing ever changes. They don't just control both parties. They control the top political factions which claim to oppose the establishment in both parties. They don't just control the opposition. They control the opposition to the controlled opposition. They're able to pull this scam off because most people don't lucidly understand the difference between fact and narrative. Human psychology tends to be so intimately wrapped around mental stories that it's often hard to differentiate between someone who's telling a story about being an enemy of the establishment and someone who's actually working against the interests of establishment power. The trick is to ignore the words and watch the actions. Is someone being elevated to prominence by the very establishment they claim to oppose? If they are, they're not its enemy. Are they taking meaningful, concrete actions which go against the planet-dominating interests of the U.S. centralized empire we live under? If they're not, then they're not part of any meaningful resistance. Are they playing to either side of the two-party scam, both sides of which are complete tools of imperial control? If they are then they are not an enemy of the powerful. Are they constantly feeding into partisan feuding and divisive culture war wedge issues which threaten the powerful in no meaningful way? If they are, then the powerful are cool with them. Don't let these pricks draw you in. Focus your political energy on opposing the actual mechanisms which hold the actual power structure in place. War, militarism, propaganda, oligarchy, exploitation, tyranny, ecocide, government secrecy. Help get people focused on the raw nuts and bolts of the imperial machine instead of the empty diversionary narrative fluff they're being encouraged to focus on. 
If we can get enough people ignoring the sideshow distractions and focusing on the actual machine that is the real source of their discontent, we stand a real chance at dismantling this thing. Letting the revolutionary zeitgeist get bogged down in fake revolutions waged by fake resistance fighters will keep us chasing shadows until these bastards get us all killed.